How's it gaming? I'm filling the blanks and welcome to our next game in our Olympic lineup. Uh, we played a game representing the 1984 Olympics and this is a game representing the 1988 Seoul Olympics. This is Konami 88 or 88 games or Hyper Sports Special depending on the region in which you are playing this game. I got Konami 88 which is the European version of this game <laughs> but this is basically uh, another track and field game by uh, Konami. Uh, except it's the arcade version, so it's a little bit different. Let's put it on our on our initials there. P M H. That is my. Those are my initials. That's what you see when I go to an arcade. There we go. And it's pretty much the same idea, but you know, arcadey. So it's a little bit more difficult, but it's still very fun. And I kind of wanted to see the uh, the difference between like an NES uh, track and field game. And uh, kind of an arcade one, just kind of see the the differences. I, I like seeing the evolution of, of games as uh, as they get made. You are, oh jeez, you, you jerk. Wow, you were lagging behind that entire time. Well then, screw you. That's okay, we just need to qualify. We don't need to beat the other people because this is an arcade game and up to four people can play. Um, so it doesn't matter if I beat this guy or not, I can continue as long as I qualify, which is fine. It is pretty much all the same... Um, uh, the same um, events that we've seen before, but kind of, you know, better graphics. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> Ow. Uh, better graphics and a little bit more difficult because it is an arcade game, but uh, I originally wasn't going to do this game to represent the 1988 uh, Olympic game because this was not an officially licensed Olympic game uh, the way that the arcade version of Track and Field was uh, for the 1984 Olympics. Uh, there was an 88 Seoul Olympic game, um, for the PC in Commodore 64, and it is the most complicated sport game I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, the manual had just a ridiculous amount of stuff. Like, some some of them were just like, press the button really fast to go fast, but then it was like, here's um, the, the parallel bars or whatever, and, and other gymnastic things, and it's like a spreadsheet and a flowchart, and I was like, I don't have time to memorize this. Maybe... Maybe in four years when we do more Olympics, but I was like, I need something a little bit more simpler. So, this is kind of just like, I don't know, a nice evolution as to what track and field games were. So, I guess this made sense for me, anyways. Here is a new event, which is the uh, relay. And you gotta press the button at the right time to pass the baton to the next person. And you can bump into them, which is really frustrating. And I'm actually doing pretty good right now. Actually, I'm doing really good right now compared to everyone else, so that's good. I'm hoping to break at least one record because you get a fun little screen if you do. No! No, 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 no! Come on. I'm still doing really good. Yeah, I still made it. I'm fine. That's good. Um, yeah, when you break the, break one of the records, it doesn't need to be the first world record. You can be first, second, or third. And there's a little, little screen of them throwing up in the air. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Yay. He's <laughs> so happy. What we got next? I love the, the characters, too. They look great. There's a lot of personality in the um, graphics in this one. Oh, ski shooting. Woo. Very, very similar to the way it worked in Track and Field. Very, very similar. So you can move the actual thing left and right, which is neat. So it's a little bit more difficult, but, I mean, it is an arcade game, so it should be damn... Damn... <laughs> but I didn't mean for it to be uh, two Konami games in a row. I kind of wanted to avoid that a little bit, but it is what it is. It's not really a big deal. Uh, the other two that I have um, planned are for the Bar Barcelona games in 92 and the Atlanta games in 96, and they are officially licensed this time. Uh, one will be for the Sega Genesis and one will be for the Super Nintendo, getting a nice mixture of, of um, consoles as well. So NES Arcade... Genesis Super Nintendo, not bad, not bad. I think graphically of all four of the games that I've been playing, though, uh, this this is my favorite. I like arcade graphics, though, especially like 80s, like late 80s arcade graphics. Those look fun. They're very colorful. Uh, they, they do a lot of scaling and stuff, uh, which was neat at the time. And it was before everything tried to be, like, a little bit too realistic. Oh, there we go! There we go! Yay! Throw me up! Whee! I don't know, I like that. It's pretty fun. It's silly, but I really, really enjoy that. 
Yeah, nice. Didn't even... I love when I'm talking, I'm not paying attention to my score, and I end up doing really, really good. It's like my favorite when that happens. It's like beginner's luck. When you try something for the first time, you, you do pretty good, and you're like, oh, okay, well, this will be easy. And then for, like, the next five tries, you just cannot get it for the life of you. Don't know why. Is that, like, a scientific thing? No beginner's luck stuff. I don't know. I always wonder about that type of thing. I'm weird. So, yeah, question of the day. Um, yesterday, uh, we kind of, um, chatted, you know, I, I hope you guys are rooting for your home country, that sort of thing. Um, question of the day is, who are you rooting for? Who's your, oh, geez, wow, I did really well, really well. Um, uh, I, I am, I am rooting for Canada, of course. Canada never is one of the big, big medal contenders in the Olympics, but they always do okay. They're never, like, horrible, but they never, like, not never, but they don't stand out as, like, the states, like, have such a monopoly on medals. It's just incredible how many medals they can get. Uh, back in the day, Russia was also the kind of same thing. Oh, you got a little Canadian flag in the background there. That's cute. This is the, ah, damn it. <laughs> the hurdles. You gotta be very specific. But it's not too, too, too bad. I just need to pay more attention. But obviously, I am taping these before the Olympics have actually started, so I have no idea how good anyone is doing. But I hope, I hope that all the teams are having a good time. And I don't know. I don't really care who wins. I'm I'm very much like I just enjoy watching the sport. It's like when I watch hockey. I'm not a sports guy, but when I like watching hockey. And when I do watch it, it's just fun to to you know. Well, I hope everyone has a good time and it's a good game. I'm such a, I'm such a, a wiener when it comes to that type of thing uh, because I don't have any stakes in it. You know what I mean? Like. When I watch hockey, I don't care if the Maple Leafs do well. That was such a bad shot. Like, it would have been cool if the Oilers had won the Stanley Cup this year. Um, but, I mean, hey, good job, Panthers. Was it the Florida Panthers? I think so. I didn't actually end up watching the game. Uh, I wanted to, but I just couldn't find the time. You know, new kid and everything. But, you know, I like watching the stuff. I just, I just, it's like, um... Danny, my buddy Danny, uh, who's been on the channel a couple times, every so often he'll have, like, a wrestling night where he'll invite a bunch of people to watch one of the big wrestling things. And I know nothing about wrestling, but I'll watch it. I'll go there. It's an excuse to see my friends, have a beer or two, have some pizza. And my whole thing is, like, all right, who's the asshole and who's the good guy? And they'll explain me, the, the, like, the stories. And I'm like, all right. And I'm always, the, I always go for the good guy. <laughs> I hate the heels. <laughs> They're doing a good job of making me hate them because I'm just, like, I'm all about the, the good guy winning because I'm just a weirdo like that. So, but I don't have any actual stakes, so to me, it's, it's, did I have a good time? That's all that matters. But the Olympics, it is fun to watch your country do well. I try to stay away from the controversies of stuff, too, when it comes to the Olympics. I know how much there is when it comes to the Olympic, like, not company, what is it, federation? I have no idea what it's called, it's committee. But I just want to see athletes live their dream and that sort of thing. A buddy of mine, um, his brother, uh, is on the American uh, speed skating team for the Winter Olympics. And I'm like, that's amazing. So, you know, that, that stuff's cool. In terms of actual Olympic stuff, I have nothing really to say. Because I don't know any... <laughs> I don't know any names or anything like that. I'm such a not-sports person. That it's kind of funny that I'm playing sport games for the channel. And it's about time I did. I'm always, I'm always like, saying, I, I want to do... A little bit of everything on this channel. I mean, obviously, most of the stuff I do is retro, but having a little bit of of every kind of genre. And I've never really done the sports stuff, so I'm like, oh, it's about time. One day I will. One day I'll randomly play a game of NHL 94 on this channel for no reason. Everyone will be like, oh, wow, Phil knows nothing about hockey. I'm like, damn right I don't. Oh, the javelin turn nice. So, yeah, like I said, very, very similar to what you see in... Um, in track and field, which is fine. I mean, you want, I guess, some consistencies, but you also don't want too many... Uh, ooh, that was pretty good. You don't want too many um, uh, similar events in all the games that you make, so that's the one thing about track and field, where it's like, all right, here's the same six or seven events over and over. And I, I tried to... The other the other two that I, I picked for this um, little kind of four game marathon of, of, of Olympic Games was they are all track and field related. Uh, ooh, that was good. Uh, but they're not all exactly the same. So there's going to be some different ones in the Barcelona one. There's going to be some different ones in the Atlanta one. Woo. Cheer for me, crowd. 
Your little animations of just blinking lights. And come on! Nope, that was not good. Because 74 is as good. I mean, again, I'm qualifying. That's all that matters. Because considering this is an arcade game. Uh, oh, I fouled. I didn't even notice. <laughs> um, considering this is an arcade game, I'm just impressed that I'm actually competing well. Because arcade games are usually just like, they're hard on purpose. And we got more high jump. It's just like the track and field one. It is really difficult and kind of under, hard to understand if I'm doing well. It's a little bit... Ah, oh, that was close. It's a little bit more obvious what you're doing in this one because there's more frames of animation than the jump itself. In the NES one, it was hard to tell because, like, you'd, um... You wouldn't be able to know if it was going to hit it. And this one, like, it's a little bit... See, my butt keeps touching it. Just barely. But, you know, you can kind of tell if he's going to hit it or not, so. One last try. At least we did it. That's all that matters. Woo! Oh, no, I'm not nearly far enough. That's okay. Still qualified. <laughs> kick the dirt. Kick, kick. I'm doing pretty good, though. We'll definitely see everything. Oh, there we go. The final race. And it's the relay again, which I think was really weird. Um, it's fine. It's just it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, the timing to qualify is a little bit. Uh... Damn, that was stupid, mate. Uh, it's a little bit more um, strict. I think it was forty-five seconds the first time. Now it's forty seconds. Damn, that was a bad start. It's okay. I don't need to beat these guys. I just need to beat forty seconds, which should be fine. I'm glad they space out the races in this one too, though. Like it's not. Race after race after race after race, and then the like archery and that sort of thing. Because then by the time you get to that stuff, your your hand would be so tired. Come on. And like it's already kind of ah, damn that was bad. It's already it's already kind of gets tired. But I mean we're yeah we're gonna make this. And bam thirty five. Oh nice, that is a third place record. Time. Fantastic. And that's a uh, pretty much the game. <laughs> Yay. Oh, aw, the poor green guy. Oh, and poor orange guy throwing a little temper tantrum. Love the little animations, a lot of personality. Third best in the world. Well, it's a relay. You should be throwing all my team members, not just me. Still, though, I think it's cute that they do this. Really cute effect. Huzzah. And there we go. That is the end of the 1988 Seoul Olympic Games. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Love that little podium. I hope there's no one on the second or third thing. They're there, but... And it's the 80s, so the goal or the reward is to kiss a girl. Because, <laughs> of course, that happens in the Olympics, right? person just randomly shows up to the podium and gives you a kiss. But yeah, no, and then it just repeats because, you know, it is an arcade game. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun, at least, uh, it was very similar to yesterday's episode, but we had fun. Now I'm just going to go for <laughs> a brisk walk, a little jog. I already won my medals. I'm in no rush. <laughs> With that, I'm filling the blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.